Yeah, I agree. <sighs> but also, why why wouldn't he just stick around for the the Tigers? What else do the Tigers have going on? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I mean, he's still the star of the show. They got nothing else. I mean, he's going to get the biggest applause when he comes up to bat. So it's all about, dude, the applause. Uh, so I got the uh, deep dive I got this week is what I've called it. Wives of athletes tripping on social media. Uh, you're familiar with uh, Wes Welker's wife, former Miss Hooters. Anna, Anna Burns Welker, I believe. Really? Which is it's Wes beautiful. Welker, too. I remember he got busted on Molly at the Kentucky Derby. He did. That makes sense that he's a wild man. He married a Hooters waitress. Yeah, dude. What a what a life. God married man. Hooters can you imagine waitress. when you start working at Hooters and the how shitty that is? And then all of a sudden you're married to a guy who can get you into the Kentucky Derby. That rules. Yeah. A five foot six dude who could get you in the Kentucky Derby on Molly. So uh, I'm not sure if you remember. Do you remember her beef with Ray Lewis where after the uh, Ravens beat the the uh, Pats in the playoffs, she said, I'm proud of on. This is on Facebook, too. That's how you know she's trashy. She's over on Facebook talking shit. <laughs> she said, proud of my husband and the Pats. By the way, if anyone is bored, please go to Ray Lewis's Wikipedia page. Six kids, four wives, a kid acquitted for murder. Paid a family off. Yay. What a Hall of Fame player. A true role model. Holy shit. He must have been so fucking pissed. Because when you know you what's crazy about that whole that, thing? What? He was never married. <laughs> Ray <laughs> Lewis? He had four wives. Ray Lewis, never married. Is he married now? Uh, I'm pr- I don't know. I'm, I just read a thing today that said he was never married. Let's see. Ray. What were you about to say? I was about we to start say, going though, down what road? Like when you start going down that road of calling out people, it's like he's like, sweetheart, there's nine guys with the exact same record on my team. Like you can't stop this kind of shit. Like you don't understand. This is the culture of football. Like now I got four, you know, felons in my locker room who are gonna fucking never trust me again. Yeah, we kill people around here. He says, yeah, he literally had Aaron Hernandez on his team. <laughs> How do you think Aaron Hernandez? That must have hurt Aaron Hernandez's feelings. Yeah, he um Yeah, never married from what I can gather. Um Yeah. So then this is a this is a funny. So this is the wife of the Redskins GM. So this la- this lady, this lady, um ESPN reporter Diana Rossini wrote a story of that the coach or whoever at the time McLaughlin wanted to trade Robert Griffin the 3rd, but the owner Dan Snyder wouldn't allow him to. Oh, so it's the GM Scott McLaughlin at the time. Uh, but Dan Snyder wouldn't allow him to trade RG3. So in response to that story, Jessica McCoughlin, the wife of the GM, decided to chime in from her Twitter account. And she said, uh, at Diana ESPN, please tell us how many BJs you had to get to give the give to get this story. And did they laugh at you before or after? Oh, God. <laughs> Jesus Christ. These, these, I, dude, I've been down that road before, too, where it's like you got like a mouthy girlfriend and then you have to deal with the re- repercussions. I remember one time uh-huh. I, I was dating this vegan girl and we were floating down the broad river in Athens, Georgia. It's like a lazy river type deal. And as we're floating down the river, there's a couple uh, Latino dudes who are uh, up on the banks catching geese to eat, I think. And uh, she like she started screaming at him because they were catching geese. And so the, the goose slipped out of his fucking hand. And so the dude jumped into the river and started and punched me right in my life vest, which thank God he didn't <laughs> he punch you in the, ch- like in the chest. <laughs> he punched me straight in my life vest in the chest. And I was like, and it was fine. And I, I like fell back. I totally fell back. It was slippery. You know, I think I was on some algae rocks, so I fell right over. Um, How'd you, why were you out of the tube? Cause he was coming at me. I'm not going to have a guy. I'm not going to lay down okay. while a guy's running after you're, me. Like, you're, you know, that's right. It's fair. It's fair. You're like I, splashing around. No, there's no way to look tough getting out of an inner tube either. <laughs> yeah, no, no, there's, there's no way to look tough. And I was, and I was just like, do you understand what you, position you put me in? Do you think he's going to hit you? No, he comes from a very machismo kind of culture. So when you start talking shit, and by the way, you took food out of his hand. Would you rather he go buy some factory farmed geese you know what I mean? This is wild hunting. This is as ethical as it could possibly be. Also, could you just hush up? Could you just hush up a little bit? And he's using his hands. Yeah, it's unbelievable. 
I, was, I had yeah. nothing but respect for the man. But so I understand what it's like to be with these kind of people where it's like, please, sweetheart, please, please, please. Do you know how many BJs it's going to take for you to make up for this fucking tweet? That's what I would have said. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yeah, yeah, I can't even imagine. Uh, and then, of course, the Colin Kaepernick's girlfriend, where she tweeted out the picture. Of, Ray Lewis is getting getting taken to task. I'm just realizing now by these by these athletes. Wise, you know what I'm talking about? The picture of him and the uh, the Ravens owner, where mm-hmm. he's like hugging him from the back. I remember the this day, tweet. And then she tweeted the picture it's of Jane Modell, and, isn't it? Uh, it's it's Art, Art uh, Modell, Ray he, Lewis, and maybe Jim Harbaugh. It's it's something with a B. I think it's the owner. Or maybe the GM. I can't, I don't remember. I off the top of my head, but she tweeted right. out the picture of uh, of Samuel L. Jackson holding up uh, Leonardo DiCaprio's character in uh, in Django. Yeah, which eventually led to Colin Kaepernick apparent apparently not getting signed by the Ravens when he was about to. Or essentially, she was saying that Ray Lewis is um, you know a, a house a c word. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Essentially. So- yeah, it's funny because they're like Colin Kaepernick was blackballed from the NFL. Or, uh, is it blackballed the right term? Is that what they did? Yeah. Blacklisted. Is that he was blacklisted? Blackballed. Is- okay. He was blackballed from the NFL. And then you read that story and you're like, well, the Ravens, were, they were ready. I mean, he's a perfect quarterback for the Ravens. Right now they have RG3 and uh, Lamar Jackson. But, you know, you can't really, you can't be talking like that. Sweet hat. Dude, if my girlfriend was if my girlfriend was tweeting about Ray Lewis, I was like, he I would be like, he will fucking kill me. Like he will kill both of us. You know, know what I'm saying? Sports science, dude. They what they, they he has a sports science on YouTube of him that he did with the yeah. ESPN and he's like breaking down doors with pads and like they were comparing him to like certain kind of mach, like machinery that they use to break through doors. Like the guy is a tank, a literal tank. You ever see the video of Chad Johnson where he comes across the middle and thinks that it's somebody else and goes to hit Ray Lewis and he hits him fucking flattens him and he goes, Oh shit. And then he's talking about it's like, damn, I I tried to hit Ray. <laughs> Dude, Chad Johnson mic'd up shit is the fucking. I've watched a lot of that. Fucking... Oh, that's do, how we're do gonna you, play. Do you, do you follow him on Twitter where he just will like pull up on people and play FIFA at their house and shit? My favorite tweet, Chad Ocho. Is it Chad Johnson again? It is, right? It's not Ocho. I think so, yeah. uh, my favorite tweet was when Roger Stone got arrested and he was out jogging and he was like damn i thought i was up for a usual morning and then i run into this shit and he takes a picture of roger stone getting arrested out of his house it was one of the funniest things <laughs> ever. dude that's so funny all right i got one more of these dude the legend miko grimes mm. you know miko grimes brent grimes wife mhm great the legend name, dude well, miko grimes but of i don't course. remember wait what was the tweet <laughs> there's a few She's uh you can read all about her. She's a more she's on like Baller Wives, some TV show on <laughs> BET3, I think. Um she tweeted this is in 2015 when Tannehill was with the Dolphins and so was Brent Grimes or maybe it was the Bucks. I can't think off the top of my head for this one. And she tweeted said, "I knew this cube I knew this QB stunk the minute we signed him to this team, but I tried to keep quiet so I didn't discourage Bay from believing in his team." Oh boy. Uh, no, that, sorry. It's right. Yeah. Ryan Tannehill. Who's by my way, column. Really oh yeah. My column. How many people does Ryan Tannehill have to get fired before you realize he's the problem? She said that there, there's a bunch of these and then, okay. So this is where it gets a little dicey where she actually won an award for this tweet. Um, it was like, anti-Semite of the week from stop antisemitism.com, but <laughs> <laughs> So she's talking about the owner and Tannenbaum from the Jets. So got to respect Ross for keeping his Jew buddies employed, but did he not see how Tannenbaum put the Jets in the dumpster with that Sanchez deal? Oh, so she and really so you pays would, attention to football. <laughs> that's what you can gather from that is, yeah. And I mean, she's there's there's quite a bit of other stuff that she said. She went hard on on that whenever she was getting called an anti semite for that tweet by saying, she I mean she went into some, some like real black Israelite shit, Oof. of being like black people cannot be anti semitic. The, the religion original, was stolen. Yeah, that's yeah where we're she from, was where the chosen. She went from. yeah, she went full Reverend Nick Cannon. God 
Damn, Miko Grimes, are they still married? How is she like insanely hot? Of course. Yeah, I was gonna say who who why would you put up with that? Miko, let me look her up. I remember her she, name. Of course. I mean, you're yeah. Is Brent Grimes good? He's okay. He's like a slot receiver who can take a whopping. He's not he's I not thought he was a corner. I thought he was a wide receiver. I don't know. Hold on one second. Let me I'll... look at her. Oh yeah. Yeah, she can say whatever she wants. <laughs> Yeah. Um. <laughs> Let me get a look at this right here. Uh, well, dude, she, she, there was this interview. I mean, now she's You're doing right, like Andrew corner. Schultz. I don't know who I was thinking of. She's doing podcasts with like Andrew Schultz and Charlemagne and shit. Like, <laughs> dude, she, uh, she <laughs> was doing an interview and she was saying that Brent Grimes wanted to get released from the Dolphins. So he was like, feel, feel free to go as hard as you can, as hard as you want on Twitter and shit. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Well, then she was she was doing her job. She wasn't speaking out of pocket. She was working as the. Uh, I think I think she was speaking out of pocket, and then she she also. And then he weaponized he it. Like, All right. Yeah, which is that's a good thing. Like if you could have weaponized your vegan girlfriend's anger in some way, and that would have been pretty sick. Yeah, I can't even imagine how I would have done that. But I I would say leaving uh leaving some migrant workers alone as they catch the dinner. <laughs> I would say. You know, maybe lay, lay that's, that's a way to start. Yeah, that's a way to start. Um, but hey, that that's all I got. Shouts out to the legend, Miko Grimes. Except for that last tweet, I don't know about that one. And See, that's why I only date people I, have zero interest in anything I do. I don't want I don't want anybody yeah. fired up about my workplace. Yeah, you don't want your girlfriend tweeting the comedy store. Yeah, how'd you pass this motherfucker? You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean. She does. She does have an, an award-winning tweet. That's. I mean, they give that award every week, though. Apparently, yeah, it's not really a special award. You might have won it a few times. Hey, no, 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 no